Okay, Ford, the 2021 Ram 1500 TRX just ate your lunch. Dodge is calling this the fastest and most powerful mass-produced truck in the world. Let's get into it. Hi, my name is Eric, and I make videos for vehicle enthusiasts. If you're somebody that loves to drive, please consider subscribing. Today, Dodge announced the Ram 1500 TRX for 2021, and it makes 702 horsepower. It's got the 6.2 liter supercharged engine right out of the Hellcat with a couple changes. And just for a point of comparison, the F-150 Raptor, it makes only 450 horsepower and 510 pound-feet of torque. Nothing to sneeze at, but we're talking about a lot more horsepower here. And the interesting thing is that there's been a lot of speculation about what version of this engine is gonna end up in the TRX. Is it gonna be detuned? But they've actually come out with the full 702 horsepower. This is essentially the base horsepower for this Hellcat style engine and it's amazing that it made it into the truck with all this power and 650 pound-feet of torque. And a couple stats to keep things interesting. Zero to 60, 4.5 seconds. Zero to 100 miles an hour, 10.5 seconds. Quarter mile, get this, 12.9 at 108 miles per hour. This is a big heavy truck, mind you. This is really impressive for a truck. Top speed, 118 miles an hour. The way Dodge is positioning this truck is really interesting. They are sort of saying it's going to be an off-road Baja style runner, but you can also go to the drag strip with this too. So it's really got some interesting positioning, sort of a dual use truck. So they've said that this is essentially the engine right out of the Hellcat with minimal changes to it because it's been working so well for them. So some of the changes they did make is it has a separate, a different oil pan with a deep sump designed to be able to pick up oil under high G load, sort of under Baja style conditions. That's what they're telling us. And also they've moved the alternator up higher on the block so that you can get 32 inches of water fording. The hood scoop is actually completely functional. It's so functional in fact that they have split up the airflow between the top of the, the hood scoop in the top and the front of the truck. So you're getting 50% through the hood scoop and 50% through the front of the truck. And they've also put in some special air filters because they know people are gonna be taking this off-roading and going, I guess, into the desert and so forth. So they've got dual air filters, which they claim filter out four times more particulate matter than the competition. So this is not just a hack job where they just took the 6.2 liter engine and just sort of dropped it in the Ram 1500. They've actually made significant changes to the entire chassis of this. So they, has, they say they have strengthened the frame significantly. And what they've also done is they've made this eight inches wider compared to the rest of the Ram lineup. And they've got these composite fender flares. And what they've also done is they've increased the track width by six inches. So that's basically the difference between the, uh, the width of the front wheel. So six inches wider. So normally Ram 1500 has uh, a wheel that is eight inches wide, but the TRX designed a, this whole system to accommodate a wheel that is nine inches wide. So to enable it to do this high speed Baja style off-road running, they've got new forged control arms, lower control arms in the front, steel in the back, and it has these very interesting Bilstein adaptive dampers. And they have an off-board reservoir. So you can think about who else has got an off-board reservoir. Obviously it's in the F-150 and they're using Fox shocks there. So these are fully adaptive, but they are Bilsteins. And the rear axle, the uh, one of the press people or one of the designers said it is designed to take a direct missile strike. And so what he means by that is it has a 10 inch ring gear and it's designed for anything a punishing customer can throw at it or anything that someone who's just driving it on road can throw at it. And of course, this is a solid rear axle here too. So this is designed to be really bulletproof and a 10 inch ring gear, that's, uh, that's pretty big. Also compared to the regular 1500, this has 13 inches of wheel travel all the way around. So that's an increase of 40% compared to the regular Ram. And a bit more on these Bilstein shocks. They are Bilstein Blackhawks, 2.5 inches. E2 adaptive performance shocks. They provide fast reaction time, unbeatable damping and improved heat dissipation for traveling harsh terrain at speeds greater than 100 miles an hour. So this is being positioned as a high speed off-road desert runner truck. This is not really the rock crawler. If you want that, hey, go over and get the Wrangler for that. So the rear axle, it's a Dana 60. Of course, it's solid 3.55 gear ratio with floating hubs. 
and it's got a axle hop damper. And when you're dealing with 702 horsepower and all that torque, hopefully this is gonna be very useful too. So to get all this power down to the ground under these different conditions, it's not just about the engine and the rear axle. So Ram has got a brand new unit. It's a Borg Warner 4813, they're calling it. It's a full-time active transfer case and it enables passage through any off-road obstruction or any weather condition. So it's got upgraded internals for improved strength and reliability, and it's got a low speed crawl range of 2.64 to one, and you can also flat tow it in neutral. But what's really interesting is that this is a full time transfer case. So it has five different dynamic modes, which are auto, sport, tow, snow and custom and of course the driver can pick these different modes and what it does is because it's a full-time system it is able to actively transfer the power forward back wherever it needs it depending upon the different mode that you're choosing so it's a pretty clever system i hope that we begin to see this in other parts of the the ram lineup and this is probably one of the coolest things about this ram trx it has something called jump detection so it has vehicle wheel speed, ride height sensors, and accelerometers at each corner to identify when the vehicle is airborne. And then when you land, it's designed to prevent driveline damaging power spikes. So they say it acts in milliseconds and it modifies engine speed, torque gear selection, and transfer case torque split, damping rates, and other powertrain and suspension components through the landing to optimize performance. So basically when you're in the air and if your foot is on the floor, it's going to basically take the uh, take all these calculations and figure out how to land the truck the best without damaging the drive line. So they are very serious about this Baja off-road capability. Let's talk about the interior just briefly. So you get a couple different options. You get premium cloth, you get a vinyl option, and there's also premium wrapped leather and suede or premium wrapped leather with suede and available red carbon fiber accents. So basically you can have this truck for utility and really build it out for your desert running. I'm sure you can do some rock crawling with this thing too. If you want it sort of more as a, as a work truck, you can option it out with vinyl or if you want something that's just a little bit more plush a little more luxurious you've got the red the carbon fiber accents the leather and all that kind of stuff so there's going to be a lot of different options available and this is not an inexpensive truck we'll talk about the price at the end of the video so it has a flat bottom steering wheel with optional leather and suede and carbon fiber accents which are optional and aluminum paddle shifters and they say they've redone the center console with uh, with for maximum storage and a new performance oriented floor shifter with five USB ports. In terms of the navigation screen, it's got a pretty big 12 inch touch screen with Uconnect 4C, Sirius XM is standard. Um, so I think this is not the most up to date Uconnect system, but again, correct me if I'm wrong on that. And they're saying it has the first application of drive modes and off-road pages with Uconnect 4C on the 12 inch touch screen. And it has a heads up display, which I think is a first for RAM, but correct me if I'm wrong on that. So it does have 11.8 inches of ground clearance and towing is 8,100. So that is, I mean, it's still a pretty good tow rating, but it's not as high as the rest of the, the regular uh, 1500. And I think that's because they have redesigned the frame on this to really be much more off-road centric. And so you make some compromises when you do that. So if you're looking for you know, the maximum tow rating, probably the regular 1500 is gonna be a, a better bet for you. It has LED clearance lamps, which are integrated into the hood scoop. So that's gonna give you a little bit more visibility, I guess, when you're coming up over an obstacle. So you got sort of, sort of high mounted lights already, although you can obviously add some to the roof. And it has a full LED adaptive lighting system, including twin bifunctional projector headlamps, fog headlamps, and tail lamps with up to 15 degrees of direction control and steering input. Now there's only one way that you can get this truck and that is in the four door configuration and with the five foot seven inch bed. And it's gonna be available with 35 inch tires. In fact, they're huge. They are Wrangler Territory All Terrains 325-65R18. These are developed exclusively for the Ram TRX and it also has available or optional bead locker uh, wheels that you can 
put the beadlock ring on. So FCA is clearly trying to throw a little sand in the face of Ford with all the Ford Bronco news right now. If anybody's complaining about the Bronco saying it doesn't have enough horsepower, they want the V8, well, hey, here's an alternative. Obviously, it's a lot more expensive than a Bronco, kind of a different vehicle, but let me know down below what you think of the TRX, and let me know if you think this is something you might consider over the Bronco. My name is Eric. Please subscribe if you're interested in more content like this, and I will see you in the next video.